Welcome back to The Sims Resource. Today, we're gonna to be going over how to get The Sims 3 to run on your computer in 2022. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have been having the nostalgia itch. I know I have to play The Sims 3. And I actually posted a guide earlier this year on how to install mods, but I realized that not everyone actually knows how to run the game because believe it or not, the game is over 10 years old now, <laughs> almost 15 and it wasn't actually programmed to run on computers that are new. And so I thought I would take the time to make the guide so that everyone can play their favorite old game. So let's get into it. First of all, I'd like to give a huge shout out to the user Anime Boom on Steam. I'm gonna have their guide linked below because it is so, so helpful and has a lot of extra added tips that I'm not putting in this video. I really kept it kind of bare bones as to what you actually need to run the game without installing anything extra. But if you really want to go in depth and like get every single thing into your Sims 3 game, I would suggest checking out the guide. I'll have it linked below and shout out to you, Anime Boom. You're a real one. Thank you so much. Let's start off with some disclaimers. To start, this is for versions 1.67 or 1.69. This is not intended for 1.70, which is the latest Sims 3 update for the 64-bit version on Mac. If you want to run that version or you want to figure out how to run that on your newer MacBook, you're going to have to go check out another video. I'll try to find one and link it in the description for you because unfortunately The Sims 4 melted my last MacBook and I'm a little bit hesitant to try running The Sims 3. So that's that and I'll see if I can find anything to help you guys out. And also, just like any guide that has you edit game files, make sure you back up all your saves and your mods if they're important to you. If you're starting fresh from scratch, this may not be an issue, but if you have anything that's important, make sure you have a backup. I like to save everything to my desktop before I start. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is open up two different files. The first is going to be device config. You'll find this in documents, electronic arts, the Sims 3, and it'll be in there. From there, you're also gonna to wanna to open up a file in the Sims 3 game slash bin folder. Now this location is going to vary based on whether or not you installed the game on Origin or Steam or somewhere else. So you'll have to find it on your own. You might also be able to find it in the guide that I linked. So I found mine under where all my Steam games were installed, but your mileage may vary there. Anyway, you're gonna open up the graphics card file in Notepad and from there you're going to Find your graphics card. So the reason that we have to do this is because The Sims 3 was finished updating in 2014 and most of us have computers that were manufactured after 2014 or just graphics card that, that were manufactured after 2014. So in order to make, the, make sure that the game can recognize our graphics cards, we're going to have to add it into the game's registry. So to do that, you have to know what model your graphics card is. Mine is an NVIDIA 3060 and it was manufactured like a year or two ago. So obviously the game wouldn't recognize it. And so what we're gonna have to do is go into the graphics cards file in the Sims 3 bin folder and edit it so that it will recognize our modern graphics cards. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is find the manufacturer of your graphics card. Because mine is an NVIDIA, I'm going to scroll through the graphics card folder on Notepad and I'm going to find NVIDIA. So as you can see, they have AMD, they have pretty much any graphics card manufacturer that you would imagine. It'll be in there. And so here I'm looking for the GeForce cards because that is the model of graphics card that I have. And from there, I'm going to look for the series. So for example, mine is a 3060. From there, we're going to want to take some of the funky numbers uh, right to the left of all the other graphics cards names, and we're going to want to copy and paste them. So I'll actually be doing this in just a moment. You actually can see that I already put this in for my card because as you can see on the left, it says found one match one. That means the game has recognized that my graphics card does exist and it knows how to run. So that's the line that I put in myself and I'm gonna show you how I did it right now. So the first thing you wanna do is enter and then space space so that everything is lined up. You wanna make sure that everything that you type into this file is lined up just to make sure that the coding is correct. Punctuation is really important in coding, that's all I have to say. So you're gonna type in card, and then you're going to be able to find the fun numbers over on the left, actually, in your device config. And so from there, you can copy and paste it or just retype it over. And then you're going to put another space, line it up, make sure you have all the parentheses, and then make sure all, the, all your capitalization is also correct and retype 
your graphic card name. So mine is a GeForce RTX 3060. Make sure you put your parentheses on the end and then it's there. So make sure to save your graphics card file and then you can close that, but keep open your device config file because that's gonna be really helpful in the next step. Okay, so this part is the second half of making sure that the game can recognize your GPU. So the first thing you're gonna do is go back into the Sims 3 slash game slash bin, and this time you're gonna open up a notepad file called graphics rules. Uh, you're gonna see it looks really scary <laughs> when you first look at it, especially if you don't know coding, but I promise it's not so bad. It's mostly gonna be a game of copying and pasting, so stick with me, you can do this, I promise. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is find the section with your GPU manufacturer. Once again, I am under NVIDIA, so that's me. You're going to select and then copy the or match card name, complete with the parentheses and the comma at the end, and then paste it at the end of that line of code. And then from there, you're going to put quotation mark, asterisk, and then put your GPU name. I got mine from the same device config file. So here I'm just putting RTX 3060. And then at the end, I'm putting another asterisk and another quotation mark. And that's actually all you have to do. I know it seems really complicated when you look at it, but I promise it's pretty easy. All you have to do is copy and paste and then type in your graphics card name and then make sure to save. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do is limit the frame rate. The Sims 3, because it's an older game, really runs best at either 30 or 60 frames per second. Anything higher than that, it starts to get a little glitchy. So. I'm doing this in the NVIDIA control panel because that's what my graphics card is. You're gonna have to find another way to do that if you have a Radeon or something else, but it's how I do it. So in the NVIDIA control panel, I go to manage 3D settings. I find the Sims on the list of games on my computer, and then I change just two settings. It's pretty easy. So the first thing I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna scroll down to vertical sync and make sure that that is turned on. And as you can see, I already have it on. And then the second thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go set the frame rate to whatever you're comfortable with on your computer. My PC is a gaming PC, so I set it to 60. I don't know why it was at 112, but don't worry, it's fixed now. Um, and then you're gonna just make sure to apply. Make sure to apply and save after you do all of these things. You don't wanna to have to go do it again. And then, yeah, you're all set. Your frame rate should be limited. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is limit the VRAM. So your VRAM is kind of how much memory your graphics card has. And most graphics cards don't have that many unless you have a really high end one. And so you're, you just wanna make sure it's limited to something that your computer can handle. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is hit Control F in the graphics rules files that we had open earlier and search for SETI space texture memory. That part's all one word. And once you find that, you'll be able to see a number and you'll be able to change it based on your computer's VRAM. So if you have two gigs of VRAM, then you're going to just keep it at 2048. That's about as much as your computer can handle. If you have four gigs or more, you can change it to 4096. And if the number there is just 32, you're gonna wanna switch it to 2048 and just leave it there. Okay, so this next adjustment is going to be for high-end computers only. So if you have a gaming PC, a really new PC, a gaming laptop, anything like that, this is for you. If you run The Sims on a lower-end computer, an older computer, or just something that isn't really meant to run games, then I would suggest against this. So what you're going to do is you're going to see the four numbers that I've highlighted over there, and it should be like 4321. You're gonna want it to change, you're gonna wanna change it to 4333, like I have it right now. And then you can just leave it there. Okay, so this is to help stop some lag in the game from an update they added in about 2011. And this is stopping the feature items menu from showing up. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go, you're gonna wanna go to Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 3, go to your featured item folder, right click it, go to security, and then you're going to want to make sure that everything is clicked under deny. You don't want to allow this folder to do anything. And then when it's done, the store won't take all of your CPU up loading random objects. Okay, so now we're gonna clean out the DC backup folder. So I'm pretty sure this is like a kind of backup of every piece of CC you've installed and it gets really, really cluttered really fast. You're gonna delete every file except for this one, the CC merged.package file. Everything else, which is probably gonna be a bunch of random letters and numbers, Delete it, your game is gonna be fine, I promise. But just keep the CC merge one in there and you're good to go. Okay, so let's get into cleaning out your cache files. Now you can do this ap after every single time you close the game. It'll make your game run a lot faster. I used to do this back in the day 
and it still works. So you're gonna wanna select the sim compositor cache file, the compositor cache file, the cast part cache file, the social cache file, and then any script errors that have compiled over your <laughs> many hours of gameplay. And then you can just delete them. You're all set. Okay, so now we're gonna install the smooth patch. So you're just going to extract it like you would any other mod. And a big shout out to Lazy Duchess for putting together this mod. It makes the game run so much more smoothly. I'm gonna have it linked in the description below. You're gonna to wanna to go back to that Sims 3 game slash bin folder that we were in before. And from there, you're just going to take all of the extracted files and just pop them right into your bin folder. Super simple, super easy. Um, you'll see that with mine. It's just, I'm gonna replace the files because I already had it installed. And yeah, it's as easy as that. All right, let's get into some game settings. So. I like to have everything unchecked except for 12 hour clock, um, especially shop mode slows down my game, at least personally, a lot. And I think it just helps not to have it on in my game. And then when it comes to population controls, I like to kind of keep it small. I typically just have pets and celebrities enabled. And obviously if you like to play with Supernatural Sims, that's up to you, but that's just how I personally like to help my game run a little bit quicker. Thank you so much for watching this guide to running The Sims 3 in 2022. I'm really, really hopeful that it helped and I'm really hopeful that you guys had a good time watching it. So like and subscribe if you did, it means a ton. And let me know if there are any other Sims 3 or Sims 4 guides that you want and I'll make them. <laughs> I hope you're having an amazing day. Bye.